at the past, in order to, to give a TV experience for the sport, you had to bring a big Obi-Wan or big, spend a lot of money. AI gives you ability to do a low-cost production. So there are more than 250 million events per year. There are more than 150 uh, million uh, athletes that are registered in some kind of an organization. Why is AI relevant, generally speaking, in sport today? You use AI to solve issues that Previously, you solved it with other way, and now uh, AI make it uh, easier to, to work and give more options. But uh, AI is not the objective. The objective is to solve problems. And what are the problems in sport? In one area is, is how to make sport healthier, how to make the athletes better. And this can be achieved with training more, but also can be achieved with more technology. And, and specifically, uh, AI can uh, track the limb AI can track their uh, speeds uh, throughout the training or the game. And uh, with this, you can improve them, you can protect them. Today you have a measure to early warning of uh, injuries. You have measure of give the exact uh, fatigue of each athlete during the game and to see who is the one that is now more tired or not. And this is from the, the data side. You now even have uh, companies that doing an analytics on the tactical what is the right formation now to go against another the opponent. Also, the, the, the TV side that we, we are focused now in, in Pixelot is an area where AI bring a lot because it open and democratize the sport because at the past, in order to, to give a TV experience for the sport, you had to bring a big Obi-Wan or big, spend a lot of money. AI give you ability to do a low cost production and give the ability to show the same TV experience from a, a young kid that's playing baseball in, the, in, in the 10 years old to a professional league uh, that's playing in Europe or whatever. So which ones of this market, if you like, is more mature? There, it's been around for, for years. Which one is more emerging? A data gathering, I think, is a quite mature area. My first company, SportView, were leading this market since 2009, something like this. Uh, it was in the NBA already, it was in the, in the Champions League, and I think it's quite mature. Still, you see a, a few new companies in this area that uh, use more, uh, utilize more the AI and not the classic computer vision method, and that's why they give a higher uh, quality. But the technology itself and the usage of the technology is quite mature. So this is the, the pure tracking, or the, the pure uh, analytic data. Understanding the, the game and understanding the tactic, understanding what you can get out of this data, it's more emerging. And people still now do a lot of uh, research on the data itself in order to uh, extract the information out of it. In the TV production, I think that the production itself is getting more and more uh, mature before the corona time. We produced uh, close to 100,000 hours of live content in a month and it shows how mature is this solution. Still, there is a lot to grow there in terms of public or the potential, but the technology itself is very mature. The, the, the part that is emerging is the personalization of the data, of the video. So now if I want to generate a personalization in fully automatic way uh, without a human in the loop, uh, this is something that emerged and, and uh, we're already doing it for basketball that we can extract it automatically, but there is a lot of work in order to do it automatically for every sport. And this is something that we are working on. How big are these markets? Every entrepreneur that you ask how big, it, he will tell you, hey, it's $20 billion. We, we measure the number of official events that are around the world in a year. And officially is the only thing that are registered in a league or, or not, not uh, just friends playing, but something that is registered. So there are more than 250 million events per year. There are more than 150 uh, million uh, athletes that are registered in some kind of an organization around the world. And the traditional solution that they, you have for every part of the problems we mentioned cover less than 1% of this event and give information on about one, less than 1% of these athletes. So it means that if you have uh, in Germany around 20,000 teams playing soccer, you have uh, 20 teams that are in the Bundesliga and these teams are being, have the, the super uh, coverage, but what happened with all the rest? 
So the potential is huge. It's almost infinite. 